The sister who speaks against plural marriage, she says to people, I don't like it. It's not right. That part of Islam, I don't understand it, and it ain't for me. My husband better not. If he does, I will blah, 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 blah. And sister don't take that from him. These brothers, is all they think about all the time is blah, 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 blah. This is not right. The sister who's talking like that, she is causing fitna, and she is deviating and undermining the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And she is acting rebellious, and she's engaged in fisk. Now, I I didn't say that the Muslim sister should not be jealous. She is, she is right. Jealousy is a part of her nature. It's a part of her beauty. It's a part of her character. But she have to keep it in check and keep it in balance. The wives of the Prophet وسلم, they did not hold a party. They didn't like it. So those women, they feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So jealousy is a part of the woman's nature. The Prophet وسلم, said, the woman who is able to control her jealousy will receive the same reward as the man who controls his fear of jihad. It means that the woman that controls controls her jealousy regarding the issue of plural marriage. When her husband takes another wife, she's jealous and she should be. But if she controls this, Allah will give her the same reward as the man that is able to go to jihad and control his fear. Because sisters, think to yourself, did the Prophet said none of you is truly believers until you love for your brother what you love for yourself? Did he say that? Yes, he said that. So let's switch it. Sisters, none of you truly believe until you love for your sister what you love for yourself.